I'm a fighter. I'm a challenger. It is not easy for me to remain silent. We start off with that after the final rose, right at the beginning. So <laughs> why, why was that important for you to kick off the book that way? To me, I wanted to show, you know, because I start off in the book really talking about I mean, I talk about courage, you know, and I wanted to show, cause for me, you know, my book is called Made for This Moment, Standing Firm in Strength, Grace and Courage. And for me, when I, you know, entered into that season of going on The Bachelor, I had those three words fully redefined for me. I had come in thinking strength was perfection and, you know, courage was fist up, ready to fight, you know, make your voice known and grace was passivity and shy and just letting people walk all over you. And so during that, my time on The Bachelor, I really had those three words fully redefined for me. And so I really wanted to show, you know, throughout the book in different ways and in different chapters, kind of what that revelation was like for me and that transformation moment of, of what those words now mean to me and what they now hold. And so for me, courage, you know, it was learning you know, obviously where my courage comes from and what the true source is, but also knowing because of that, when to speak up, when to not speak up, when to stand firm, when to back down, you know, and, and having the wisdom to know when to use that courage and what that courage even looks like. And sometimes the most courageous thing we can do is to remain silent. And that was what that moment was like for me. You know, I'm a fighter, I'm a challenger. It is not easy for me to remain silent. <laughs> And so, you know, when you're under attack or when you're under pressure, sometimes, you know, the hardest thing to do is to just trust, okay, God, like you're gonna defend my character. You're gonna defend my name and my reputation. There's no point of me trying to defend myself in this moment. I just have to trust that you have brought me to this point and you're gonna take care of the rest. And so that was really that after the final rose, the finale moment for me, you know, what that, what that looks like um, without going into too much detail. But yes, that first chapter, it starts off hot, right in, the, <laughs> right in the heat of the moment. Have you talked to him at all? Does he know the book, you know, has some stuff in there or, or are you just gonna you know, hope for the best? <laughs> <laughs> we have mutual friends. And so, you know, through mutual friends, there's been conversations circulating, but we have not seen each other, you know, since then. Um, we don't like talk or anything of that sort. Um, I, like I said, I have nothing but the best to say about him. I think he's an incredible guy. And, you know, everyone, again, everyone goes off of what they see on an edit and on a TV screen. Um, but people have to remember that every single one of us are humans and things can be depicted a certain way. But we have real feelings, we have real emotions and a real life. And so I think he he's awesome. and. Again, I hope that even when he reads all of this, that he feels like I, you know, care about him and have his back and I have nothing bad to say about him. And even through that entire experience, like I wish him the best and I hope that God, or I know that God has an amazing plan for him and I hope that he sees that for himself too.